TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, three hours left to go in the trading day, and we got markets right near flat territory. S&P's in negative territory, minus three points, trading at 28.11. Dow positive by 12 points, trading at 25,715. And the Nasdaq positive by one point, trading at 76.44. Quite a day for gold to the downside, off $14, trading at 12.95. You've got the oil contract up 32 cents, trading at 58.58. Notes and bonds, lower price, higher yield, 10-year note, negative four ticks, 122.23. 30-year bond minus eight. 18 ticks, 145.18, and the dollar index up 238 ticks, trading at 96.750. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the S&P. So a little bit of volatility in both directions, right? You have the highs still last night at about 6 in the morning for the S&Ps, that number 26.24. We fast forward to the opening bell at around 9.30. The S&Ps trading almost basically right where we're trading at right now. 28.15 in that S&P June contract. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar story. Highs pre-market at about 6 a.m. of 73.17. And the NASDAQ basically sitting right where we opened at as well, 72.85. Dow 30, 25,749. We'll find that opening bell. There's basically your 930 bar sitting right where we were at 25,747. Gold contract trading lower for most of the overnight session. We made highs towards the end of the day yesterday at about 3.30 Eastern time, 13.11. And from there, you have gold trading south. We made a couple lows on the day, 12.92.65 being the low just after the market opened. You have gold trading a bit higher as we speak, 12.95.85. Crude oil, 58.58. We got a little bit of an acceleration yesterday in price, backing up. There's our Wednesday action. We got our EIA numbers. We'll find 1030 on the chart right about here, trading at 5780. From there, we trade higher, 5857. And Euro US dollar currently right under 113, trading at 112.99. In terms of what else you have happening out there, GE talking about that they're going to burn through $2 billion worth of cash this year, 2019. Quite a number, but there may be hope in 2020, their CEO talking about. And GE getting a bit of a pop, up 3%, trading at 1034. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now at the Trader's Edge. Dave White live at 2 o'clock. Tom O'Brien live at 3. Have a great Thursday.